Outside of Padme Amidala, I would argue that Obi-Wan Kenobi, aka Space Jesus, and Ahsoka Tano are the most important characters to Anakin Skywalker and his story. After the death of Qui-Gon Jinn, Anakin really looked up to Obi-Wan Kenobi as like a father figure slash brother figure. And then Ahsoka, who was fairly close to his age when he started training her, viewed her as like his daughter slash sister. Seriously, Anakin absolutely loved Ahsoka like she was his own child. I think what's so great about these characters is they both represent paths that Anakin could have taken in his life. Obi-Wan Kenobi stuck to the Jedi Code his entire life all the way to the end. Obi-Wan was tempted just like every other Padawan in Star Wars, and Obi-Wan was always very by the book. That's why Anakin was such a great apprentice to him, and that's why Qui-Gon was such a great master to him. He never gave in to his love for Satine, and he stayed in the Jedi Order. Really, it was the only life Obi-Wan ever knew because he was taken when he was a child and trained in the Jedi Temple. And because Obi-Wan stuck to the Jedi Code so by the book, he eventually lost everything and ended up in the desert alone. Obi-Wan did a really great job of ignoring the flaws of the Jedi. I think he did this because he truly loved everyone in the Jedi Order. Now Anakin could have done the same thing as Obi-Wan. He could have stayed in the Jedi Order, he could have ignored his feelings and pushed them away that he had for Padme and just stuck to the code like Obi-Wan did. The big issue for Anakin comes in whenever he's trying to balance that because he wants to learn everything and become a master but he also wants to have the love of his life. During this balancing act, he's fighting in a war while also trying to hide the fact that he's married and has a wife. Now, Anakin really stayed in the Jedi Order for as long as he did because of his wife. He thought that she was going to die and he needed to become a master so he could learn everything he needed to to save her. Trying to balance his secret wife with the Jedi Council and their orders, the war that was going on, and his appetite for all the knowledge he can get to save Padme just don't really mix all that well. So really in the end, Obi-Wan represents that path for Anakin where he just stays a Jedi and he lives by the code. But because he tried to balance it, it led him down a much darker path. Now Ahsoka on the other hand, who also lived by the Jedi code for a lot of her life, did leave the Jedi Order. I mean, I think even to this point in canon, Ahsoka is still living by the Jedi code. She's doing this without having to answer to the Jedi Council and the order that they developed. Ahsoka was someone who knew the Jedi had some flaws, but she was willing to ignore that because that was the only life she'd ever known, much like Obi-Wan. But the thing that broke that back was whenever they accused her of terrorism and nobody but Anakin had her side. She saw how easy it was to blind the Jedi and for them to just jump straight to the easiest conclusion. And the really sad thing is, they were supposed to be her family. Then whenever they accused her of terrorism, well, that was just very contradictory and Ahsoka couldn't handle it anymore. So when Ahsoka left the Jedi Order, it would have been so easy for her to just go live a normal life and do whatever she wanted, but she didn't. She had a code that she stuck to, and when the galaxy was collapsing in on itself, she did what she thought was right. Ahsoka continues to do the things that she thinks is right, which is also adhering to the Jedi code somewhat, because she's using the force for goodness in the galaxy. And I think it's pretty great that she can do that without the control of the Jedi Council. Anakin stayed in the Jedi Order because there were things that he felt he needed to learn that was only possible by becoming a Jedi Master. If he became a Master, he would have more access to the Archives and he thinks that whatever is in there that they're hiding from him would have been able to save his wife. That thought is further implanted whenever Palpatine talks to him. Council doesn't seem to fully appreciate your talents. Don't you wonder why they won't make you a Jedi Master? So because Ahsoka left the Jedi Order, but still used her abilities to protect the galaxy and save people who are in need, she was able to operate outside of the Jedi Council's control, but continued to do what was right. And because Anakin stayed in the Jedi, he continued to try to do what he felt was right in the moment, but still had to go back and answer to the Jedi Council, which led to a lot of arguments. He never gained the rank of master, and he felt that they were hiding stuff from him. Anakin just felt very targeted. More and more, I get the feeling that I'm being excluded from the Council. And this is another case where Anakin continues to try to balance that path with the one he's on. While Anakin's story and his fall to the dark side is a collection of events that happened throughout his life, I think Obi-Wan and Ahsoka and the symbolism that comes with those characters for Anakin is just absolutely fantastic, even if it's accidentally done. Obi-Wan was the wise Jedi Master Anakin hoped to one day become, but while also having a wife. If he ever achieved that, he would have access to the plethora of knowledge that was hidden 
until you became a master. And Ahsoka represents what Anakin could have been if he left the Jedi Order. There would have been no more hiding, no more a balancing act. He could have just done what was right, but continue to study the Force. And while it was uncommon for people who left the Jedi Order to go back to the temple and continue studying, Count Dooku did it. It was just the fear of missing out on the knowledge that only Jedi Masters could obtain. I mean, the FOMO was so real with Anakin Skywalker. What he did was try to go down the middle path that didn't really exist so he could have best of both worlds, which just led to more arguments with the council and a lot more turmoil with inside himself. Not only that, Anakin was extremely impatient and wanted to become a master as fast as possible. That led to more arguments. And all these arguments made him think about leaving the Jedi Order even more. All this just made it even easier for Palpatine to just sway him to the dark side. Anakin, much like Ahsoka, just knew there were so many flaws within the Jedi, but he was afraid to leave, and Ahsoka wasn't. He tried to look past all these flaws and contradictions like Obi-Wan did. In the end, he failed at having best of both worlds and eventually led to the story that we got. Let me know if you think Obi-Wan and Ahsoka represent something completely different than what I said in the comments. If you absolutely love Star Wars content, make sure you subscribe and share this with everybody else that you know that loves Star Wars. I appreciate you for watching and may the force be with you.